Well, y'all, he done lost his mind. You know, my dad always used to say, not enough garlic. Well, Wade's thing is, never too cold for ice cream. Well, for me, it's too cold for ice cream. It is like below zero, snowing outside, and he's going to make ice cream in a Dutch oven. Well, as you can see, it's uh, we're out the camper. We made it out that far, but uh, obviously we're not camping because uh, if you can look outside, behind me it's snowing like crazy. And uh, we'll get my phone out here a minute if I can show you when we get inside. Uh, I think it's around zero wind chill, probably 15 to 20 below. Luckily here, where we're at, we're kind of out of wind, so we're a little bit better than we might be out on, on a hill somewhere, but it's pretty darn cold. So we're gonna go in the camper and uh, continue this video. So we'll meet you in there. Okay, let's see if you can see what the temp is. They're right here. Uh, you might not be able to see it, but it is zero and it feels like negative 18 out here this morning. And it is uh, almost noon. So we're gonna do some crazy recipe today and uh, we don't have to worry about keeping things warm because Mother Nature is so cold. We're going to make something that uh, we're not going to run out of plenty of cold for. So we're going to go ahead and get something going here, something different. Okay, let's see. We're going to start with... First of all, you ought to tell them what you're fixing. <laughs> oh, well, uh, we're going to make some crazy thing. We were still doing comfort food, but uh, the crazy thing is... Is it ever too cold for ice cream, Wade? I don't well, I don't know. Some people probably say it is. Angel probably thinks it's too cold, right, Angel? Yes. But uh, it is kind of a comfort food, but uh, probably not when it's zero. But we thought we've, we'd... I've done this, several, this recipe several times before because it's kind of just different to go outside and make homemade ice cream, make let Mother Nature do the hard part, which is making it freeze. So this recipe I come up with <clears throat> because I wanted to do a quick ice cream a number of years ago. And uh, usually when I make homemade ice cream, the best way, the, my favorite kind of ice cream, of course, is to make basically custard. So we actually it's frozen custard rather than ice cream, technically. And that's when you take milk, eggs, and sugar, and you put it on the stove, and you cook it till it gets thick. And then you let it cool, and then you add some vanilla and uh, some more cream, or half and half, and then whatever flavorings. Which that's my favorite kind. But we didn't want to have to take time to make it yesterday, let it chill, and do it today. So for a quick recipe, we're gonna do kind of a, a little bit instant because it's got some instant pudding mix. And we're gonna mix that with the traditional uh, milk, like it calls for, <clears throat> by the recipe. And then when you get that mixed up, we're gonna add some vanilla. And of course then, we're gonna put half and half to top it off. And that would be a basic vanilla recipe, but we're gonna make a little bit different and jazz it up with some apple butter and another special ingredient to make it apple pie ice cream. So we're gonna go ahead and get this recipe started. Okay, I'm gonna have to get my gloves off to get in here. You know, it's pretty cold in the camper, but it's better than being outside. So what I think I'll start with is some apple butter. We got, we're gonna do two cups of apple butter. So let me get in here and get it dug out. This way we can get everything mixed in good together before we add the pudding and get it fairly thick that way. So we'll measure out two cups. Now since we're not baking, we don't have to be 100% accurate and precise. And plus it's cold, we're not gonna be too picky. So we're gonna get about two cups out of here and call it good enough. Okay. 
All right. All right. There is our second cup of this. Now, this recipe calls for with these uh, pudding, instant pudding. It's a small recipe and it calls for two cups of milk. So we're going to add, start with four cups of milk. And I know this is not a liquid measuring, but this will help clean out the good out of there. We're going to do four cups. One. Two. Now, the nice thing about this is, when you, if you ever made ice cream, is you got to have good, fair amount of fat content. So we're going to use whole milk for this. And we're going to add half and half. So let me get my whisk. We'll get this kind of whisk together. Okay, so the apple butter is mixed in. And if you don't like apple butter or apple pie flavor, uh, one thing you could use that really has nice, and I've used it before, is like a jar of all fruit spread. You can use peach, raspberry, strawberry, and I've done that before. That's really good. Uh, we're going to need a good teaspoon of vanilla. We'll go ahead and get that put in. And that's good. We'll probably put a little bit more in there. Won't hurt. Vanilla's good. Flavoring. And now we're going to go ahead and add our two instant pudding mixes. Poof. Put that in here. Okay. Mix this first one in just a little bit. And then the second. When you want to make ice cream in your Dutch ovens, how cold does it have to be? Well, I talked to a friend of mine, one of the ladies that Danger and I, that we met, maybe we met last summer, the lady that hosted, helped hosted the, the National Dog in Illinois. Yeah. And you know, we sent out a thing uh, earlier that said we wanted to wait for a good cold weather. Careful what you wish for. This is about, what, a month ago? that we wanted, that if it got real cold down about zero, we could make homemade ice cream. And she said that she has done it before using uh, ice water and lots of rock salt, just like you would make it, me making it uh, homemade ice cream, you know, in a regular conventional ice cream maker. And she did that in the summertime. So you could do it in a Dutch oven that way, but we thought we'd just do it this way, and just let nature do all the work, and we don't have to do any of the, uh, Add in their ice and rock salt and all that. Okay, now I think that is all the ingredients except for the half and half. So we're gonna grab the Dutch oven and just dump it all together in there and then mix it together in the Dutch oven for the final step. Okay, last thing is spatula. And we're gonna put our ice cream mix into our Dutch oven. Today we're using a 12 inch, six quart Dutch oven. That'll give us a quite a bit of surface area and not real thick in there. So that way it'll freeze a little bit faster because uh, I wouldn't be outside any car any longer than I have to. Neither does Angel running the camera. Brr. <laughs> Wait, right. I'm gonna show them out the window while you're doing that. All right. Can you see it snowing? I hope so. It's not snowing real bad yet, but it will be later tonight. Okay, now we're gonna add one quart of half and half. I'm gonna mix that in here. Mixed in good. I had all the ingredients, of course, cold out of the refrigerator, so and the Dutch oven was already cold because it's been out here in the back of the chuck area of our camper so and if you can tell i go take long it's gonna start freezing it's already starting to freeze on the edges yeah and what's gonna happen is this is gonna freeze around the edges and the bottom we'll take it back outside and put it on the dutch oven table now today we don't have to worry about it because there's no sun if you're gonna do this on a day like today when it's zero out fahrenheit not celsius uh you would want to be sure to put it in close to the ground and in a shady spot because even though it's cold, you're probably still gonna get a little bit of heat off that sun, but these being black cast iron 
and you don't want that. So you want to be sure to put in a shady spot. We don't have to worry about that today. So I'm going to get my gloves on and we're going to get this thing outside so we can get it started freezing. All right, Angel, if you'll let me out, uh, we're going to get this thing cooking. Cooking as in freezing. Okay, I've got it set out here behind the Dutch oven on the asphalt. So that's nice close to the ground, but I want to make sure that we don't have a big pile of snow underneath because you want the air gap under the Dutch oven because even though it's cold, if you put a big pile of snow around it, you might think that would help, but the snow will actually insulate the Dutch oven and make it take it longer to actually freeze. So we're gonna leave it this way, let all the cold air around it, and we're going to probably, I'm gonna come back out of 15 minutes and give it a stir. The more you stir it, the less bigger ice chunks for ice crystals are gonna form in the, in the Dutch oven. So uh, unfortunately, we've got to come back out and stir it every 15 minutes or so to keep that down. Because ideally, when you're making homemade ice cream, you would stir it continuously. So I'm not going to stand out here for the next, I don't know how long it's going to take. It may take at least an hour probably, maybe closer to two hours to get getting done. And I'm not standing out here for that long a time and continually stir this thing. So we'll come back in 15 minutes and give it a stir and just kind of see how it's done. Okay, well, I'm heading back out for the first 15 minutes after getting this started and giving a stir. And Angel says I'm kind of crazy if you're doing this, so she's staying inside where it's nice and warm. So let's go give it a stir and see what it's looking like. Okay, and take the lid off. And I got a wooden spoon here, nice and flat. So I'm going to start scraping this down on the sides giving it a stir and just scrape loose from the sides here and now she's already starting to it's a clopping up on the spoon there she's already starting to freeze good so this has only been 15 minutes, so it's coming along good. Got to keep it a stir. All right, get that off of the spoon, and we're gonna put the lid back on. Come back 15 more minutes. See how it's doing. All right, you scrape down the edges. This is uh, one hour out here in the freezing cold. And it looks right now like it's pretty much pretty thick milkshake. Oh, I think it's coming along really good. I'm gonna keep scraping down the sides and the bottom. Real good, and that way we'll, that's pretty much where it freezes. The most of quickest is along them outside edges, but that's where coldest part of the oven is. One thing that we don't have to deal with today, like we would when we're out normally Dutch oven cooking, is the fact that after a little while we're gonna have run out of heat at the rain plenty of colds. Well, with Mother Nature today, I don't think we're gonna run out of cold to get this ice cream done. So, I think we're getting ready. I think we're good, stirred up good enough. Scrape this off. Get the lid back on it. And give it another 15 minutes. Looking great. All right, we are at the hour and 15 minutes minute mark and it's looking like 
this ice cream can officially be called ice cream now. So, now we said we were making apple pie ice cream. <clears throat> so, the apple butter made a real good addition to get that apple flavor and the spice. So, let's go back around in the camper and get the last ingredient we need to make it apple pie ice cream. I already got it cut up. And it is, see right there, this makes the apple pie ice cream. So let's door shut. And all this is, is pie crust. I'm gonna pour that in and give this a stir, mix it in now. Basically, all I did was we had a store-bought pie crust frozen, put it in the pie shell, and I brushed melted butter on it and put a heavy coating of cinnamon and sugar. Put it in the oven, baked it about 375, about 30 minutes until it was golden brown, pulled it out, let it cool, and chopped it up, nice big chunks, and now we have stirred it in now i didn't put it in at the beginning of the process because i didn't want it to break it up into too many little bitty pieces i wanted some nice chunky ice cream so there we are homemade ice cream this is apple pie ice cream made out here in the middle of February, actually it's Valentine's Day, and it's about zero degrees, the wind chill of about 20 below. Perfect day for making homemade ice cream. We'll come back in a few minutes and give this a sample. Okay, I finally got Angel back outside because ice cream's done, and they moved it back up here to the deck, closer to the house. Uh, the lid off, give her one last good little stir. Looky there. Well, I gotta ask you. Yeah. Is it too cold for ice cream? Well, it's not too cold to make it. It made. So, I don't know. I guess some people call this a comfort food, but I don't know if it's a comfort food when there's zero degrees outside. But we're not going to eat very much of it outside. I think we're going to go inside and eat. All right, Wade. <laughs> we had a slight malfunction. Our battery died because it's below zero <laughs> out it's here pretty cold so yeah about, I don't about think battery my power. question is it too cold for ice cream uh some people probably say it is but i don't is think it it's too, too cold, cold for you for ice no cream. it's not too cold for me for ice cream it's definitely not too cold to make it because it obviously worked good to make it we're about on what hour and 15 minutes yeah and, and it's uh, made it's made Where, where's so, the spoon well the spoon i kept in my pocket because it's a metal spoon and if i left it out very long our lips and our tongue might stick to the ice cream. Well, so. try a bite. Let's see what it tastes like. Got to get a piece with that crunchy stuff in there. With the, uh, looking pretty good in it. Pie crust in there. Here, you take this. Let me try a bite of it. That's pretty good. All right. It's good, but it's too damn cold out here. <laughs> so... That about does it for this weekend getaway. We didn't get to go camping, but hopefully this weekend we will. Maybe. It's hopefully. The forecast is to get up closer to normal. We've been, what, uh, over a week with well below freezing temperatures. Yes. And uh, today's the coldest day, about zero, 15 to 20 below wind chills. We're actually uh, in a wind chill warning through, uh, I think, sometime tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're not going to be outside here long. We're going to go back inside and... Uh, enjoy our ice cream if you like this video please like subscribe and share hopefully we're going to be going camping in a few days as soon as it warms up we're out of here all righty thanks for watching hope Bye. you enjoyed it